And yeah, Snoop fit right in. I actually liked that first album. A lot of motherfuckers didn't like the transition right. from Snoop to Over Beats by the Pound. Yeah. But that game to be sold and not told, that yeah. bitch was hard. Yeah. as far as um you know uh i believe it was um no limit was turned up like you said the tru came out mm -hmm. and then you had this young artist named mystical yes that was already a beast of his own that right. quickly after his first album right uh got into the no limit roster were you around during that mystical uh, mm. uh, no no i really wasn't around a whole lot for the mystical uh when he came over yeah, when he came over. yeah um, what are your thoughts as far as his addition to the to the No Limit Arm? Super dope. You know what I'm saying? I was a fan of Mystical, you know, like yeah. everybody else even before that. You right. know what I'm saying? So I thought it was, uh, and especially over Beast by the Pound. You oh, know yeah. what I'm saying? Oh, it was, yeah. yeah, it was a perfect match. Perfect yeah. match. You know, Mystical is a super talented dude. I mean, I'm fortunate enough to still be on the road with him. You know what I mean? And go. watch him perform every night and and. You know, and he's he's a good dude, funny as hell. You know funny what I mean? Talented <laughs> as hell, uh, down to earth as hell. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, I'm curious on your thoughts as far as uh, <laughs> the women on No Limit. Yeah, uh, from uh, Ghetto Twins. Yeah, Mia X. Yeah, um, Mercedes. Yeah. Uh, what are your thoughts as far as just the way the women kind of ran the game at that time? Like a lot of women, of course, you know. All respect to Salt and Pepper and yeah. everyone before that. Yep. But it, when it came to that gangster shit, right? Uh, we ain't really quite heard that until like those ladies came around and start running. What were your thoughts as far as seeing seeing them do what they do? Man, Mia was always just like that's why they call her Mama Mia. Mia was always like a mother, you know, to the squad. Uh, you know, big sister. Even she used to call me Pretty Smile. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's what she still called me. That she still called yeah, me Pretty she, Smile. Uh, yeah, Mia was a beast, bro. She was a beast. And you got to think at that time, it wasn't a whole lot. I mean, you might've had Lil' Kim, but that's not gangster it's shit. Like, yeah. You know what I'm saying? I don't know that Gangsta Boo and 3-6 kind of was maybe a little bit behind, you know, coming bit, behind yeah. No Limit. Um, you have Marvelous up in Sacramento, but you did have choice from rap a lot. You did have choice. A lot of yes, people yes. don't talk people, about yeah, choice. Yeah, a lot of people don't respect you know what I'm that. Saying? It, again, and it's not saying they, they overshadow, but it's like yeah. what he was doing at the time. Yeah. What he was doing mm -hmm. just put more light on what yeah. his what yeah. the ladies of No Limit. Yeah, for sure. I mean, Mia could carry her own with around the fellas, like both on a track and in real life. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Mia, Mia was a gangster too. So you know what I'm saying? Nah, <laughs> like, real. you know, don't I'd be remiss if I didn't uh put that fact out there. For real. I gotta ask as far as um you know, as you said, Snoop came through, mm -hmm. uh, you know, design, you know. Yeah. He was a, it, it was, it was weird. And mind you, you know, you no, love, seeing what Easy e did, mm -hmm. you know, knowing that West Coast culture, seeing Snoop come to No Limit for you. Mm -hmm. How was that for you as a young man at the time, as a, uh, yeah. as, as a rapper? Like, like LeBron, it, it, right, it, 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 it was, right. Every, bro, the whole world was like, Snoop on, you know, cause. Yeah. The, the bird, yeah, just, yeah. it was like, you know, Pac and, yeah. It was how was it for you seeing Snoop? Man, that was dope, bro. Like, like Snoop, Snoop is a superstar. Like, I was just talking with somebody about Snoop the other day, and they was like, I was like, Snoop gotta be one of the most famous rappers in the in the world, in the industry. But Snoop has that it factor. You see what I'm saying? You know how some people just got that it. They just got that thing, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, and, and Snoop, you know, he he was charismatic, you know what I mean? And, and yeah, Snoop fit right in. I actually liked that first album. A lot of motherfuckers didn't like the transition right. from Snoop to Over Beats by the Pound. Yeah. But that game to be sold and not told, that, that bitch was hard. That, 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 that bitch was that hard. That proved everyone wrong. Yeah. Cause. People were worried, like, I don't know. Nah, man, that shit, that shit was rocking. That shit was bumping. Snoop just recently admitted in an interview that he used to lace his blunts with shrooms and pass them out to his homeboys to watch them trip out. Did you ever <laughs> smoke with Snoop? I ain't, I, I ain't never smoked. I ain't a smoker, but <laughs> okay. I never witnessed it. I never witnessed that. Okay. <laughs> Shout out to Real Street Stars, nigga. Mola. Hey.